Hello everyone, this is Shudipto from Technical Potpourri and welcome to my new video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a powerful feature which came up in Winter 25 release and is basically the action button. This action button is becoming GA, but not only GA, this action button is bringing a lot of powerful feature, a lot of powerful uh, properties which you can use while uh, implementing this action button in your flow. So I thought let's make a dedicated video about this action button and implement a use case using this action button. Isn't it a good idea? I'm sure that you'll like this video because at the end of this video, you'll be able to know how you can implement a very complex use case using this powerful feature called action button and all its new attributes, new properties or new capabilities. Okay, so enough talking. Let's jump to our Salesforce org and implement the use case. Okay, so let's understand the use case first. So the use case is that I'll be creating a screen flow where in the flow, the very first element will be a drop down which will show all the accounts from my org. My user will select one of the account from that drop down and then they will click a button. The what the button will do, button will call another flow and fetch all the contacts under that account and display in a data table format. Let's implement that use case using the new action button. So for that, first I'm going to create the other flow which will be an auto launch flow and which is basically going to fetch all the contacts from the selected account. So for that, it's an auto launch flow and it's going to fetch all the contacts. So get all contacts from the contact object where account ID will be matched with the variable account ID record not record type and it's going to be an input which I'll be passing from my main flow and then it's going to switch all the records and then automatically so no choose the fields and let me I'm going to select this option, choose fields and assign variables. Here, I'm going to select a resource call all contacts. It will be a record of type contact, allow multiple variables, and this will be available for output. And here, I'll be storing the ID, first name. last name and let's say email. So these are the variables I'll be fetching from the contact record. Okay, so my auto launch flow is ready. So let's save that, fetch contacts and save and activate. Now let's build the main flow. Again, new flow. This time is going to be a screen flow. So I select the screen flow. First, I'm going to fetch all the uh, accounts from my org. So get all accounts. And here it will be account, no condition, and all records. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a screen element. And let's first, let's give it a name as display. And then put a choice lookup where select account. It's a required value. And in the choice, Collection choice level is account name. Name here is all accounts choice set. Choice value is basically the ID. And then click on done and click on done and only one, correct? 
this is good then i am going to select the action button action button is here let's fetch contact it should be here control a fetch contacts and in action i am going to fetch contact this is the flow this is a flow I select here in the account ID. I have to pass the account ID. So for that, here is my select account and then selected choice values in the output. I will get all contacts. Now I'll be passing a data table here. It will be all contacts display all contacts source will be this is my fetch contacts a screen action result and all contacts and in the configure column let's put a column as first name then last name and email done done let's give a name as account contact fetch let's activate and let's do the debug so it's telling all the accounts that i have in my org so let's see if i choose burlington and then click on fetch contacts it's fetched all the contacts and displayed them here in this format similar way if i select that and let's say choose pyramid this account and fetch contacts is going to fetch again the contacts again and displayed here now this is the basic functionality of this fetch now let's say let's debug this flow from the user experience standpoint right when i there is no account selected why this button should be enabled and why this should be enabled from the user experience standpoint it doesn't look good right it should be this one and this one should be disabled how can i do that the way to do that is basically if you go here so this one should be disabled if there is nothing in this value so i can do i can create a formula here so this is another feature so this action button will get a property called disabled which is basically taking boolean value true or false so if disabled equals to true means this will not be disabled it will be cleared out and if it is false then only you can take action on that so let's see that so let's create a formula field should display action button data type will be boolean and it should display so select account and select choice value if this is null is null then this this will become true so let's make it should not then it become true and then i can use that here should not so now click on done save and then activate and let's do the debug Is still showing I think there is something wrong I have done so let's see the should not display okay let's try that activate and then do the debug yep so if it is blank then this one is disable the moment I select one account it became enabled 
So now it look, makes more sense. So now, as you can see, after Winter 25 release, you have the option to make the action button enabled or disabled. Okay, so now, why to display this uh, data table? The data table should only be displayed if there is actual contacts in the account. And if, for example, when I click on this one, it calls the auto launch flow. And if the auto launch flow is all is successful. So how can I do that? How can I restrict the visibility for that? I click on that. And here in the set component visibility of the data table, I can use one property from the action button. So the action button name is fetch contacts. And the fetch contacts will not only return the result, it also return whether the call is successful in progress or if there is an error message. So it I am choosing is success. So it means if the call is successful, then only bring this data table into live. Then only show display the data table, otherwise do not display the data table. So make it true. And the most important thing is that in the advanced section, you need to select re refresh input in corporate changes. And then click on done. Set as new version and then activate. And then let's go and do the debug. So, initially, as you can see, it's very clean. We are not showing any data table or anything. The moment I select my, my account, this button becomes enabled, but still the data table is not shown. Now, when I click on this button, action button, a auto launch flow is called which returns all the contacts and that's the point in time when my data table is getting displayed. So this becomes a very helpful feature because this action button is giving lot of things which you can use to make your UI look more user friendly. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, Please hit the like icon. Please share this video with your friends, with your colleagues, so that they came to know about this very powerful feature and all the new things that they can do with this action button. And finally, please subscribe to my channel so that you came to know about all my upcoming videos. In next couple of days, I'll be publishing more contents about Winter 25 release. So it's highly recommended that you subscribe to my channel so that you will become the first person to be notified the moment I publish the new video. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.